Hey guys, I designed a new logo and I need you guys' help. So if you would put yes or no in the comment box below, that'll help me out a whole lot. Yes if you like it, no if you don't like it. Thanks and enjoy the video. everybody solo black 313 rise and ride coming at you i hope everybody's having a fantastic day now if this is your first time to my channel i'm solo black and i make motorcycle and camping related content i also showcase motorcycle equipment and camping equipment and today i'm going to showcase my new coleman tripod grill so stick around today i got my my new Coleman uh, tripod grill um, and I have a lot of different grills that I use uh, one of my favorite grills is the Yuko flat pack grill now I've had that grill for many 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 years um, and it's done me well uh, but I wanted to try something different I also have um, a MSR pocket rocket that's a great little oven for cooking i have a peak one propane uh furnace and i i mean i even also have a uh emergency it's like an emergency stove and i also cook off my coleman two burner propane stove but the real reason why i got the coleman uh tripod grill is because of this right here now in this bag, you guys have seen it. This is called, or they affectionately refer to this as the Chinese firebox. Slide it in like that. You get a, a grade for the charcoal or fire, whatever you use. It goes in like that. And you get the grill top. So yeah, like I say, I got the new Coleman um, uh, tripod grill, especially for this Chinese firebox. And I really hate calling it the, the Chinese firebox, but when you buy these things, it just comes in a box and then you get the brown bag and then there is just no name on it. So it's become affectionately known, like I said, as the Chinese firebox. But now, when I'm using this particular grill, when you cook the meat, like one day I had a piece, of, I had a, a steak. And when I put the steak on top of the grill, uh, the steak dominated the top of the grill. And it was kind of awkward to get a full cook on the steak. Chicken breast will fit up here. Um, and it's really good for, for uh, with a frying pan or a pot, these things are fantastic. And the beauty about this particular stove is you can take your wood, you can load the wood from the top, put your pieces of wood in there, voila. Or you can open this door, take the wood out, so it can be fed from the top or it can be fed from the sides. And uh, I find this grill to be a very, very efficient cooking grill. But like I said, um, when I'm trying to cook meat on the top, sometimes the meat doesn't fit. So I wanted to get the grill so I could kind of like hang it down. Now this is, gives you direct fire. So I wanted to start cooking like, I guess it's more like roasting. Like I want to get a chicken. 
I want to get a chicken and put it on the grill. And that way the meat doesn't sit right on top of it. I can lower it to down to two inches or I can have it as high as, you know, 12 inches and get more of smoke and heat, dry heat to cook my food. So um, we're going to go outside and we're going to test uh, the new Coleman uh, tripod grill along with this, for lack of a better word, Chinese firebox and see how things turn out. Okay, let's see what comes in the box. We'll cut it open. Now you guys know I'm not one for all that fancy uh, open box ceremony type stuff. I just want to get the box open and see what comes in it. All right, let's see what comes in this baby. And here's the thing about it. I didn't know it was gonna be that big. So it says, uh, uh, it's a tripod grill and lantern hanger and it's made by Coleman. Like I said, I, I just didn't know it was gonna be this big. But that's all right, we'll work it out. Here's a picture of it. It's a tripod and it has a grill in the center and hung down by a chain. All right, let's open this baby up and see what's happening. Again, flip it this way. I'm always so excited. All right, so we have the legs of the tripod. This would be the chain and this is the grill and like I said I didn't know this grill was gonna be that big like I said it's not a big deal I just didn't know it was gonna be that big I thought it would probably be about oh you know that size but that's all right now all right so now that we got it unboxed let's go outside put this thing together and cook okay, some guys, food okay guys there is the uh, tripod grill and setting this thing up was pretty, pretty easy. Now, at the bottom of each of the tripod legs, you're gonna get spikes that you can put into the ground so you have a more stable base to work for. Uh, and then right here, you'll see this right here. This controls how you raise and lower the grill. Now, today, I'm going to be cooking with charcoal. Um, I have wood, but Today I'm going to be cooking with charcoal, so let's uh, get this thing fired up. So today I'm going to do a half a chicken, some asparagus spears, and some fried potatoes. So stick around. Okay, our fire seems to be going good. I got the grade on the on the uh, tripod grill at the height I wanted. I got my seasoned uh, my chicken all seasoned up. Yeah, that's pretty good. Got my season a uh, chicken all seasoned up, and then we're gonna put this baby meat side down first. A little bit more pepper, and then we'll come back to this. Oh yeah, look at that baby. That's coming along pretty dang gone good. This grill okay, is... Okay guys. Wow, that looks delish. And you know what? I think we can call that just about done. All right, so let's go put the asparagus on. We're gonna put the, uh, we're gonna put the asparagus on. So let's get this going on. Oh yeah, 
That looks pretty good. So now we'll put the asparagus on. And once that's done, we'll come back and we'll eat. And there you go, everybody. Grilled chicken and grilled asparagus. Done up right on my new Coleman tripod grill. And if this made sense to you, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. Solo Black 313, Rise and Ride. God bless everybody.